If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Alright. <clears throat> so, what do you want me to do? Tell the entire truth of how how the process went when you tried to quote-unquote murder her, Just basically. Tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but okay. We haven't reached the end of the case just yet. Hero isn't the real killer. And I have to prove that. Boom, boom, boom. God, the music is really pumping here. Alright. Make your argument. Oh, God, that's a lot of shit. Okay, yellow powder, yellow powder. Status of Sakura's body, Kyoko's examination summary. I should probably look at all these before anything else. Slumped over the chair. He said that he was knocked over, so that can't be it. Slumped over a chair. So that's one of the thing. What else was it again? Kyoko's uh, something. Kyoko's examination summary. Sakura suffered two two blows to the head, not one. That could also be another one. No blow was found on her hands either. And the last one was source of the power for Prince of the Powder or Chem Blast stuff. Who wants to, but they did it. Yellow powder. A Kuma bottle from the shelf nearby. Alright, does it say exactly anything about the yellow powder? Or exactly, yellow powder. Yellow powder was found in the instep- Okay, yeah, all these are getting consistencies. What's he say? Hit over from behind, before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. Hit her from behind, that makes sense. only hit her once. Okay, uh, where's that? Just once. After the first swing- Examination summary, is that correct? Suffered two blows. Perfect, okay. The bottle shattered. And she went limp. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! Someone's acting suspicious. Alright, Hero hit Sakura, that's for sure. But it doesn't end there. There's something that proves that. The wounds on her head. I didn't want to, but... I, did, I grabbed a monocle about a shelf and I hit her from, from behind. Before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once. Yeah, just once. Bam. No, it's wrong. Give me more help, guys! Because I'm on a fucking roll. I'm not getting a game over just yet. At least hopefully. If Sakura died from Hero's single blow, that doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Two? That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Makes sense. Two bottles broken. Hold on. How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice with two Monokuma bottles? It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles itself. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. You won't understand that point. You'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? Makes sense, yes. Although I'm not sure why we have to explain every single detail, my new detail. Uh, that was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? Or at least one of the bottles. Now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. There were two broken bottles, wasn't there? Because considering how... Considering how one of the all the pieces of the bottles we gathered, why what the hell? Why is the PS3 open? Oh, that's weird. Um, but originally there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. I'm saying two bottles were used to attack Sakura. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? The way it's pla placed in the line, it doesn't make any sense. That's easy. One there, if one there. What the bottles all had in common. Oh, oops. Or whatever. <laughs> the correlation between the Monokuma bottles, I feel like it's starting to become clear. The connection must be, it's the object that the Monokuma figure inside each bottle is holding. Alright. 
Hangman's Gambit. Oh boy. Okay, here we go again. H S I. Alright, first off, I need to remember what the hell this thing is. If you shoot the wrong letter, Hangman's Gambit, you'll take damage. Your influence is zero. You'll fail the case. Determines contection. All right. Increase speed. Okay, saying. Can I look at my evidence? What? I can't look at my evidence to figure. Oh crap. Alright, well, first off, I mean, I know the answer, I just need to figure out what the fucking words are. Okay, so, it has a middle, so it's an A, S, I, C. Alright, ish, no, that makes no sense. Ch. Ch. Is it C? E, that seems... F. Phase? It's either C, yeah, it's either a C or a P. I got two hearts left to do this. <laughs> I gotta make this count then. Okay. Chess. Oh, well, it has to be chess, right? Chess piece. Oh. That was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Alright, where's the P? Uh, E. Hmm. There we go. And a piece with another E. Alright. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a little bit harder, but it was actually that obvious. Chess piece. As soon as I tried to figure it, ch- Oh, chess piece. That's it! The chess pieces! I'm not sure what that has to correlate with uh, anything else, but... I mean, aside from it has the Inside amount of- each bottle, there was a oh, whatever. figure holding a different chess piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn... I definitely remember seeing each of those. But there are two other classes, right? Queen and horse. The broken bottle we found was the knight, if I remember. Caught the knight. I always caught the horse. So, what's that matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces: the king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. So yeah, the queen and the knight was missing. Got it. And on the ground was the knight. And the queen, wherever the hell that went. So the queen is missing. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does chess have to do with anything? I mean, I could just easily say that the broken bottles was enough as an indication, but okay, we'll just go for the chess piece thing, yeah, I guess. Way better. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, I just I just found out what shogi was. It's basically Japanese chess. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> so, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. Yes, it does. Well, then again, if we're trying to take Hiro's word for it, which, admittedly, he already said that he admitted to the crime. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No. It's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. This is where the weight comes in. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. It was broken! It was excited? I got it! Game, don't think I'm some sort of fucking dumbass. This, I just don't know much about the mechan- or I just don't remember all the mechanics and what exactly to do. That's my only problem with the game. That, yeah, that could be my fault because I've been playing this game a lot, so... Because there was evidence at the scene that supports it. That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. And what is this evidence? It wasn't just a single broken bottle, and the evidence that proves that is... You're gonna figure it out before. It is very so obviously this thing! Where the fuck is it? This thing! Take that! Earlier, Kyoko and I did a little experiment. We compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. And what we found was that the collection of. And don't say it's the fucking bag, because it's not. <laughs> There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. Uh, so from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. So is Toko really that suspicious right now? Someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles. 
along with the figure inside. But then again, it was freaking uh, Hero that wrote it, not knowing Toko was the killer. But when they did, <laughs> who the fuck knows? Left behind a few too many pieces, which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? Because of what it would reveal about the case. There can be no doubt that the second missing Monokuma bottle is involved in this case. It must have been used by... Some bowling... <laughs> I got it! God damn it, game. The bottle that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. So she was attacked twice, therefore, hence why she has two blood wounds, the or head wounds. The wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Given all, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? Oh, so we're suspecting that's Hoka with the blowing up but AGAIN WHAT'S UP ABOUT THE POISON?! Oh my god, guys! Let's not forget about that, can we? The matter of the magazine. Uh. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait! I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but, but there's no evidence I had anything to do with it! No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! <laughs> Shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! That's because he thought that he killed her, when in actuality, he only did the first blow. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy <laughs> I am. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it! Okay, do tell! Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room! You did? Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room! I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared! And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it! Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come loose. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? Locker room? Maybe? You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. Let me look at the evidence again about the locker. We haven't really came up with that conclusion just yet, so... We need to figure out what the hell that is. A fresh handprint was found inside the rec... That has to be her, then. Since the locker was opened before they opened the locked door, okay. So she was probably hiding inside the locker then. I'm sure she didn't disappear, but maybe she found somewhere to hide. Or hiding in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous! I mean, we could pr provide that someone hid in the rec room, and we could only make assumption that it was Toko, but... Whoa. Why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but... No, it's not ridiculous at all. I need proof that shows Toko was hiding in the rec room. And I have it. She left it there for anyone to find. A new element? What the fuck is with all these new elements? So far, you've probably been pressing the triangle button during your final strike without a second thought. But from now on, you're going to have to pay a little extra attention with your finishing blow. Now you have to choose the proper truth bullets to use during your coup de gras. To select, you'll select it by pressing the same. Okay. All right then. But for education news, we're just gonna print. Oh, by the way, you're about halfway through the game now. Go you. Well, that's a good thing to talk to about the game. All right, moment of truth again. It's a Three, four, five, six, seven, one. Too. I curse you. No, no, no! Oh, oh, it's in the. I admit nothing. I curse you. I curse you. It's a lie. That's enough. It's a lie. I admit 
nothing. I hate you. All right. That's enough. Where's the thing? Locker handprint. There we go. Bam. Gotcha, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, you gotta say about this now, Toko. The handprint behind on the inside of the locker. He must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? It doesn't. Okay then, let's just compare it to your hand, see? That'll clear everything up. Yeah! So it fits! What, did we just bring the locker room here? Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. Okay, wait, that sounded like Aaron was Cheryl for a second. Is that the same voice actress? <laughs> Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Okay. Then you killed Sakura! Who the fuck killed Sakura? Again, the poison, guys! I might be thinking ahead of this, though, but I'm really getting impatient right now. Where's the fuck the poison's gonna get to come into the debate here? No, I swear, there's no way! Out with it. I probably did kill her. Straight up again? So, Yasuhiro thought he, he killed her. Toko thought she killed her. This has to be the fucking poison that killed her. I mean, come on! She's a tough girl. Sakura's a tough girl. She could easily delve with two blows from the head. Wait, what do you mean probably? Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Talk. Now. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early. So I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't even go. But I was too scared to face her head on. So I... I figured I'd just sneak in first, and hide in the locker. Then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes, and I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> A lot of tension within the group, huh? And one of you is fucking dying. Or one of other people, maybe. Could be also be Akia, who knows? And put the magazine Maybe he poisoned their own. I'll fucking know. Maybe she poisoned herself. What the fuck? So no answers are oh okay, whatever. Put the magazine back on the shelf. Okay. When you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a like a monster growling. And when I turned around, there was Sakura, covered in blood, and staring right at me! When I saw that blood, I fainted, right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Her, you mean? Fuck my ball sacks. Yeah, We're gonna take a really quick break so that I can recuperate from this bitch.